Hello everyone, this is Michael. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the acknowledgement message responded by Smart ITO 7 receiver. Uh, when you download Smart ITO 7 receiver and you run it, it will show your interface like this. Uh, and if you listen, it's a, it's a listener listening on a port number of this running host. Right, so in this host, it shows the IP address of the current host. The first part is the IP6 version of the IP address. But this is your current host IP address it runs on. And if you have a sending application, in this case, I'm going to use, uh, use uh, the, the, the sender program I wrote for this demonstration. If you just drag a message to the sender and you hit the send button, make sure the, the port of the sender is the same as the listening port uh, on the other machine. And also the, 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 the host is pointing to the same machine that the listener is listening on. So once you have done that, you go just start. No, I haven't started listener. Silly me. Okay. Listening, so it says listening starts and then go send again. Now it shows the message being received. Uh, it actually respond uh, acknowledgement where if, if you use the send the program I wrote, it will show you the received message like that. Right? So if you're using a third party program, you have to find out a way how, how, the, how the data is stored. But uh, so by default, if you don't customize the acknowledgement, you get a standard response. You have a receiver, you have the Smart ITO 7 uh, headers in your MSH segment, uh, but it does adapt to the sending program and by uh, sending a correct timestamp. Uh, I'm writing, I'm writing, uh, uh, recording this video on the 20th of January uh, 2019, so that the timestamp matches the time. Also, the, the the control ID matches the, the 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 message that has been sent. So so that's the standard response of the receiver. But if you want to customize it, you want to change your sending facility and sending application that that the in the in message segment. This is how you do it. Right. So so go back to your download folder or where you launch your receiver. Um, you create a file called text file I you to rename it to the, to the to the customized naming convention so you just copy the name of it because I'm very lazy on typing so your file has to be called dot ACK okay so this is what the receiver you look for so when when you don't provide such file the receiver will do the standard response, but if you provide this, uh, it will use this as a template. Uh, okay, so at the moment I have put nothing there, so you need to tell the 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 receiver what exactly you want to uh, use for for your for your responding acknowledgement template. So I'm closing the receiver because you do need to restart the receiver for you to pick up the template. Uh, but open this up. Uh, maybe your notepad would not automatically open it, but it's a text file. Just make sure open it in a in a text editor. Now you can put anything here. You might say "Hello World." It will respond "Hello World," but uh, I'm just copying the data we responded to the, from the sender. So I'm copy from the sender. I'm gonna do a paste. Yeah. So uh, by default, the the sender when you copy it, it copies both the sent message being sent and the acknowledgement being sent back. So I don't need that. And I'm going to customize this. So you want to uh, change your application? Hello world. Hello world. And your receiver say my. App in 
might want to change this to test. You might want to change blah. Yeah. So so what what will happen is that the receiver will do this exactly what you put in in this file. So let's see how it goes. Let's start the receiver again. Listening on the port. Just watch this changes. So you say my receiver app, hello world, the the version changed to test and then blah, right? But notice that it doesn't match the because I'm using the same message. Let's see another message. Okay, go start. What I'm trying to show you is that the the message ID no longer matches this sending message ID and the, the timestamp also doesn't change anymore it's because we in our in our in our test we, we didn't we make it sort of hard coded so it just as a template it just follows exactly what you want it to do but sometimes you need some flexibility um, I don't know sort of flexibility you, you really like to have but uh, there's two things you can customize to make this template uh, changes uh, there's two things so I, I show you the standard one of the tens, test message so there's two things you can do I use curly brackets so you say so you can say timestamp All right so you can say the timestamp I want to change it to this we might have a little difference so you can say timestamp blah so you can have your suffix that means when the response was composed if you change this bit to whatever timestamp the message was generated right and you can of course, uh, customize other part if you if it's only it's fixed but this one will change based on the time another thing you can change is this bit the message control id so <laughs> this is another acknowledgement message i i i use for example this simulating a19 response but uh for this illustration i'm just showing you you can customize a little bit of the message you can say one two three blah so so that this will change according to the the message being received this will change according to the time that uh, the message was generated let's try it out if I just close the receiver, start again. Now, I'm going to show you. I'm going to send all of it across. So, six messages, going to send all. Make sure it's listening. Send all. So, there's six messages coming back. Each of them have the message timestamp with some sort of customization you want and the message ID is supposed to matches this one okay let's see so we got six messages see this is changing matching that one and timestamp changes as well All right so just recap you need to create a text file in the same folder of the receiver executable Make sure the name matches the receiver executable's name and the extension has to be dot, dot .act. So once you have done that, open this in a text file editor and you can customize your version of the file with whatever you like to be content uh, in, 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 in the responded message. You can also have some automation that the program will do it for you uh, 
such as the timestamp uh, changes and the, the, the copies the, the receiving uh, the received message ID in, in the response okay so that's how you uh, customize the acknowledgement message for the smart HO7 receiver I hope you enjoy this video and they make your program more flexible and uh, make yourself more productive see you next time